Good evening, everyone. I'm Suraj Rakesh Gupta. I'm here to present a, a project that is detecting phishing website using machine learning. And our group members are Manmeet, Shivam, and Jugal. And uh, our guide is uh, Apare Sir, Dr. Apare Sir. Uh, and uh, the subject area, project area is machine learning. And this is the outline of the project, uh, which uh, includes introduction, motivation, aim, objective, problem statement, literature, server, scope of project, and many things. Uh, so, uh, by starting this, uh, by starting the intro, phishing is basically when we are robbed or our confidential data is leaked on an illegal website. For example, Hello. if we are using, yes, uh, if we are using facebook.com, if we are using facebook.com and someone sent us a <coughs> fake email, which consists of like facebook.com at it is changed to facebb00k.com. Uh, so we are not able to Hello. like judge, uh, is it a real website or a fake website? So here comes our project, which detects all the, which is, which includes overall like a two lakh fake website, which is like bad website, which is spam website, robbery website, criminal website, or are include, all are included in this website. And this is like a three phase attack detection, phishing detection based on web crawler, which is proposed to solve the criminal activities going on on URL based classification and it, it, it use uniform resource locator to locate that the URL is fake or true. And uh, we got this motivation from a friend uh, who like who was spammed on a Facebook website and uh, his Facebook website was hacked and due to that and uh, on his Facebook website when he like porn and all was uh, uploaded. So because of that we got this idea about this to change this and uh, our aim was like to make people aware about spam scam all scams are going on digital scam online bank fraud like if we uh, if a bank URL is changed and someone is scammed on their money. And that is a big thing for this. So a security role, a security vital role is also concern for banking areas. So this is the main aim and objective for that to secure people from this. Uh, and thank you. And next is Manmeet, who will uh, explain you problem and statement. Yeah, hello, Manmita is having an issue in joining the uh, Shum, please. Uh, yeah, okay, I will continue. Uh, sir, in problem statement, you have uh, to build and implement phishing website detection using deep learning framework, sir. And use, uh, sir, to solve the phishing website problem, we face pro a problem by online users, sir. And these are some literature survey from, uh, yeah, this, this is literature survey from where we detected. And our scope of the project is set the system used for, uh, we are giving a system which can detect the legitimate websites that it will save like uh, our information, which are private data from being frauded, sir, from uh, the system will make sure that, uh, on leak if left and will stop sir, uh, fraud sir. And the preferred technology we have used HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. And for backend sir, we have used Java and for storing our data, uh, we have used MySQL. And these are the system requirements. <clears throat> and the, sir, this is the sir, system architecture. Uh, sir, in this, there is a user section uh, where the user will like use the URL. Like if there is, 
is if there is like got a facebook like we are opening facebook sir and hello yeah keep the system architecture open and uh, uh sir like we are using facebook in facebook um, maybe someone have given a url like in facebook sees capital to fraud is user id or password uh sir the url will be given by user and then it will go to for pre processing and it will ex- extract the information and it will classify for, from the data which we have already stored in our database that what's the real url for using facebook and it will match is it legitimate or not and it will show the, this is the our system architecture and for there is a probable solution for that in which we have used recurrent neural network uh, sir in recurrent ne- neural network in this the there is an input which matches with the output sir uh, in for recurrent uh, let our input be x x sir and which will be given whose length is t sir we have taken an example of at at each time step the, the input which is given in a standard speed of uh, the forward fashion and then a learning rule is applied the back connection leads to the result sir which will be the output for the next section and the previous values there there are to maintain a copy of the pre- previous values of the hidden units the the network sir can maintain a state allowing to perform tasks as sequence prediction and then beyond the power of and the next so next sir uh, shivam oh yeah yeah thank you uh, so sir uh, this was all and further is like a module uh, which gives uh, first it collects the data the url for example then it pre processes it like it checks whether it is like it it checks whether it is proper or it is not proper and after that it extracts the proper data which is fake or like real then it classifies that it is then it give result that it is true or like false this is the mathematical model which we have used data flow diagram uh, so i would like to explain i would like to give an example of our project if you are okay with that so so this is the home page of the website and here it is like uh, it is of two phase one is admin and second is user uh, admin uh, logins and here is the admin part where we can see the user all our, all the users we can upload the data set like which is a fake website or real website and here we can see the real uh, all the data set that we have uploaded in csv form okay so we can see that this all are fake websites are, there are many collections of the website and then we go to user section user section where we can log in as a user register or forget the password and here we can see uh, here is the user profile uh, like home and this is the user profile all details user entered and here we can check <coughs> if it is fake and sir it is not like 100% accurate uh, we like for example if we put this website it will show that it is a bad or fake spam website that we should or shouldn't visit and uh, after that if we use facebook.com so it will show that enter another url because it is not a correct url okay and if we put www.facebook0ok.com then we will get null that it is not proper website uh, so thank you that's all any questions from the panel no sir okay why sorry rodema oh okay no sir. thank you 
थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन